Hi, this is Susie J. Cobwebs, and today we're going to talk about book titles and the three common factors that you need. If you don't know who I am, and if you are new to this channel, my name is Susie J. Cobwebs. I am the author of the Betrayal series. There is two out of the four books out, Betrayal in the First Degree and Betrayal in the First Degree, Second Helping. I'm working on Betrayal in the First Degree, Third Dumpling, and then there is a fourth one, A Betrayal in the First Degree for a Price to Pay. Last two are coming soon. Okay, so today's video is going to be about the book titles and three common factors that you need. Now, this all depends on your genre. The book title is the single second to make a first impression when you are attracting new readers to get on your own personal journey. Now, this video is going to be about the different factors that you would like to put into consideration when you are trying to find or trying to come up with a book title for your own personal manuscript, not counting the book cover. This is just the title. Where did you come up with it? So let me ask you a question. Is this a time where you think of a book cover or a book title first, and then you start writing the book? Or do you write the book and then figure out a book title? Now, whenever you are writing your book, maybe something will come to you about what you think the book title could be. And it may fester in your mind, and that's okay. If it festers in your mind, then you may want to rethink this particular title. You may want to use it, but we'll get to that in all the different factors in one moment. Personally, I like to write the book and then something will strike a spark. I will have a couple different ideas in my mind and then something will actually resonate with me and that's what I want to go with. Now these characters in your novel, reality is, they may be with you for a few years. Unfortunately at this time in my life when I was making the Betrayal series, no one could help me. I was caught on that emotional roller coaster of letting people in and reading my own manuscript. I got over that. Yay, I published. These are the key factors that I've noticed with your book title. And I think these will help you when you do your own. One of the key factors that I thought was make your book title short and to the point. With this betrayal series, I thought this was a great idea with a long book title to spark the interest of new readers. And then I thought this was a great idea that I put the rest of that book series with that same name, Betrayal in the First Degree. But then they only have a separate subtitle. What I have learned as being an unknown author is I had to write this whole long title many different times just to get out there. Now I'm not gonna change the names of the books or anything due to a nostalgic reason that I have picked this title out in the first place. If you would like to know why I've picked this out, go ahead and check out some of my videos. I have Easter eggs on this channel of the different ideas and the different reasons why I have put different things in my Betrayal in the First Degree series. So I hope you check them out. They are on the first and third Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Another key factor that I would like to hone in on is you wanna add curiosity to the title. Now, I'm not saying add the actual word curiosity. <laughs> when you're thinking about a title, and the book that you are making or going to make, there's some different things that you want to ask a question about. So you want the readers to try to decipher what this book is about when they read the title. Are they intrigued enough to read the synopsis on the back? Are they flipping through the pages? Are they asking probing questions to get more insight 
so they can put forth that effort, time, money, for a book that they may or may not enjoy. This is why you want your title to have that feeling of curiosity, vibe, to hook that reader just by a few words. Now, the last key factor that I would like to talk about when you are figuring out that book title, repetitious words that describe the book. Not if, but when you read the Betrayal in the First Degree series, just like in the name, you already know that someone or something is getting betrayed in this book. Whether or not it is one character, or many, this word clumps up into a book in a whole. With other words that you can use for your title, could be that curiosity factor. Intriguing the reader is another hard step to master. This probably would be in another video. <laughs> Do you have any extra tips that you would like to share about a book title? What do you think is common that you need to enforce when you are checking out a book title or when you are trying to figure out your actual book title for your own manuscript. Can you put them in the comments below? If you like these videos and you want to see more of these videos, by all means hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification button so you can stay on top of all the different things that I post. And to the next time, love you bunches.